Hello, Destinites, and welcome to the Great Owl's weekly Where Is Zer update. And this time he's hiding out over in the reef, so here we go. I believe he actually only has three exotics this time around, and they're geared towards PvE. We're not looking at grabbing anything this time that's going to be specific to PvP. Okay, here he is. Except for maybe one. We shall see. All right, review goes as follows. First one we got is Ruin Wings for the Titan class. So, <laughs> yeah. Seeds of Ruin. Heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. That's not entirely practical when you are playing PvP. This would be a great item if you were playing in PvE. So if you're doing a whole bunch of that, pick this up. It'd be a lot of fun. Who doesn't want more heavy ammo? Then you've got Paramuscle, Armature and Increased Grenade Throw Distance. I was just using this the other day with my Titan, and you really don't appreciate it until you play with it a little bit. That's really useful. Uh, rocket Launcher Loader. Rocket Launcher Loader. <laughs> okay. Uh, sidearm Loader. Increases the reload speed of sidearm. So I'm imagining that Rocket Launcher Loader increase, lo increases the reload speed of Rocket Launcher. They got a typo there. They got a fix. Uh, impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits. Oh, that's pretty good too. I'd probably go for the paramuscle armature though. So grab grab Ruin Wings if you're going to do some PvE with it. Next one here, Celestial Nighthawk is in the exact same boat. So you got here, big game. Golden Gun fires one shot, delivering six time damage while granting keyhole for over penetration. So this would be really, really useful if you've taken a carefully timed shot and you've loaded up tons of different enemies in that line of sight and you wipe them all out at the same time. Not so practical in PvP when you could easily get three opponents with three separate shots as opposed to having this one big one all together. So a lot of fun again in PvE, not so much what you want to use in PvP unless you're doing it for kind of the, the novelty of it, which is sort of rare if you're trying to be competitive. Then you got Ashes to Assets, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. That's pretty cool. But again, this is uh, something that would be in PvE. Second Thoughts, gain bonus super energy uh, from special weapon kills and minions of darkness. Great for PvE, obviously. Invigoration, gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. Cool, yeah. Nothing to write home about. This would be a lot of fun in PvE, I think. You're uh, not, a bad, not a bad item at all if that's what you're in for. And then finally, the Impossible Machines. Now, Landfall, that's a different story. Landfall, unlock the Stormcaller subclass node Landfall for free. On casting Storm Trance, fire a bolt of lightning into the ground, creating a devastating shockwave under you. That's amazing, whether it's in PvE or PvP. PvP, that's awesome. You can imagine to have an area of effect that you cast as soon as you hit your... Uh, your super is going to be very, very, very useful. Uh, increased discipline and strength, those are givens. Uh, increased melee attack speed, that's awesome in PvP, really, really good. And impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits. I'd probably go for this guy right here. You can beat out your opponent if you're trying to beat him to the punch. Haha, <laughs> forgive the pun. And then auto rifle loader, there's been a lot of auto rifle use recently, so that's probably a lot of fun to have. Increase that reload speed with your auto rifle. And then Fusion Rifle Loader, still nobody really uses these, but maybe you want to whip out a Plan C from time to time and have a little fun, so that would be good to have as well. So go ahead and grab it, grab all three, and this is the one you want for PvP, and these two are going to lend themselves more for PvE. That has been the Great Owl's exotic update and Xur location for this weekend. I hope you find it useful, I hope you enjoyed the video, so uh, please do like, subscribe, and share if it is something that you enjoy. And I will catch you guys in the next video, be it a review, be it some gameplay, or whatever else I'm going to make. Peace.